Welcome back to another tutorial of PyQ GIS in GIS World Academy with Muhammad. Today we will talk about how we can use Python functions in order to customization and functionalization of PyQ GIS common comments. If you are excited, let's get started. According to our last session, we wrote this script. You know that for adding a vector layer, uh, zoom to layer, and finally exporting the layer. So maybe maybe I can delete the export part and I can run it again so you can see our script is running properly. But now what we want to do, we want to customize more repetitive parts. So how we can do that by creating a functions. Okay, let me just open to bring my pie charm. Good. I don't need this part definitely so we have the maximum size of the layer uh, start in writing our codes the first part if what we want to do we want to import uh, no no before importing the layer we should define the path so relative because it is a shape file so the only thing that we need layer name also we can name it as a file name okay then which part we can add it there so definitely i can directly return it so we have already talked about return in our python course you can find it in our channel then plus we will concatenate it with this part definitely we will use f string and then we will give the buildings as a file name okay great so then definitely we i don't need these two lines these are the points of the concatenation the sorry the customizations and uh, creating the functions and for this part maybe relative shp files so what is our layer path is a buildings so here is my layer path also here it in these two paths so it output layer path and also in for exporting again we can use the same thing relative shp path and then we can what should be the names for exported buildings yeah exported buildings okay good but uh, the most important part has already been now you see that we, we we just wrote it one time but we are using it as much as possible in our code okay the next part that we want to add is importing the vector layer so dev import wait layer so for importing a vector layer what we need for importing we need the layer path from and layer name layer path plus layer name layer path and layer name so exactly i need now this part of my code here and except this part I need layer name so in this case I'm creating the layer what is the most important things if you remember we should validate this part of our code so in the return value I will use the inner uh, inner uh, conditional statements so I will return layer if 
uh, if layer dot is valid if the layer is valid otherwise we will say that it will be not good so then also we should after the validations we want to display the layer dev is this play or here so for displaying a lecture over the year definitely i need a what happened a layer so i need a layer definitely then i need completely this part so please return oh and i do definitely we don't need return value because it is it's just a visualizations and it doesn't return any value or any array or whatever here because when we are running this function just one function at layer is display our, our and our layer will be visualized in the canvas of the QGIS okay here instead of this part we should write a validation part if if import vector layer so we should give the layer path and the layer name maybe it will be the building okay uh, x. so if this one is not null so if this layer is correct so please display it so we can say that first of all create create our layer so our layer will be exactly the same thing so this is my layer after that is play vector layer good then we will displaying our layer so and also maybe we can complete the else part if we can have a print we can say that here is not else. after this part then we should have the zoom to layer so it's very and, and don't forget for example now this part is adding a vector layer is QGIS so you wrote it very easily the next part will be def exactly the same thing that we have in the QGIS zoom to layer okay so for zoom to layer I have a lot of I think you say zoom to Layer, so definitely I will give the layer and then for zooming layer again I don't need to return anything okay so a chord I don't need also in this part just I should say zoom to layer layer finish you see it is really really custom and it's really funny to having like these functions in our code so the last part oh we have already wrote this perfect so this is output layer path then we need this part of our code and oh i did something wrong. so and also we don't need this part of the code okay the last part of the code is the export vector def export we can say that vector layer but honestly it is the shp jshp export sh layer okay definitely after this one just think about how you can add both geo package and esri okay it will be very good assignment also for you uh, first of all so we need the layer and out 
put player path. Good. In this case, do we need report? Definitely no, because it is again another function that wanted to do other thing. Why I wrote it path path and such. Good. So here is our QGIS vector layer. Here is my layer output layer path. Then it it gets the CRS the coordinate system from the layer the UTF eight. Uh, and also you can change it according to your country, according to the language that you're using, because I'm living in the Germany and I'm creating German apps. So always UTF app is the best option for me. Then the last part, it will be export SHP. Then we need the layer plus output layer path. Perfect. So here is the end to our scripting. The only thing is needed, we should just add it to the QGIS and check it if everything's forced properly or not. Good. Uh, is, so this is my code. It's done. You can see how it's clean, really. So if you give it to any, any developer, just I forgot to tell you something. So. Don't forget to add a description to each of your uh, functions. Definitely, I'm pretty sure anyone who look at my videos in the Python tutorial, so definitely will be familiar with this part because they are very important. So any developer, when look at your code, it is like a story. They can see it, they can click on it, go to that part and see what is happening there. So this is a customization of uh, repetitive uh, PyQGIS commands inside uh, functions. Okay, so let's go and jump into our script. This script is not. Yes, now it is activated. Maybe I can close it, yes. So this is my code. Let's run to see. Perfect, it's working. Very good. Okay, so you can see that the script is working properly. Now it is your first functional PyQGIS code. Thanks a lot for your first for your time and also for your attentions. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment it in the comment section below. And if you like the video, don't forget to uh, support us by recommend your channel to your friends and QGIS and open source lovers. See you soon in the next video. Bye.